Hey guys, thanks for making your way to the video today. I appreciate it. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Ansel AD310 OBD2 code reader. Um, OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics, and the 2 was a designation given um, all cars and light trucks model year 1996 and newer that were sold in the U.S. were required to have this port uh, within the vehicle. Uh, so essentially any 1996 or newer vehicles in the U.S., um, you're most likely going to have this port on your driver's side underneath your dash. Um, if your vehicle is sold outside the U.S., you're still more than likely going to have this within your vehicle. Uh, just take a look to confirm for sure. Well, let's go ahead and get this opened up really quick, and then we'll get it hooked up to the car, and we'll see what my check engine light uh, is, is bringing back code-wise. So, um, you know... Clampshell packaging. Um, let's see here. Probably got an owner's manual there. Owner's manual is just kind of giving the instructions on how to use it. Take your time to read through this uh, when you get it. Um, and then here is the code reader itself. Um, I bought mine on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks shipped. Not bad at all. They come in, come in all sorts of uh, sizes, color screens, um, different things like that. Uh, prices too can range quite a bit. This particular one, when you get a code back, it'll actually tell you what the code is for as well. Um, some of the less expensive ones um, will give you the code, but then you'll have to go to Google or something to look the code up and see what it's for. Not that that's hard, but it's just an added feature of this one. Well, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to the car and see what the check engine light uh, is bringing back code-wise. Okay, guys, be right back. All right, guys, I started the car up just to show you there is a check engine light. Um, now I'm going to show you where on my car is a 2006 Corolla. I'm going to show you where the um, OBD2 reader plugs in at. All right, guys, so on my car, here is the where the OBD2 reader plugs in at. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in really quick and then we will be right back and I'll sh we'll go through the the code reader okay guys I got it hooked up half the battle is just figuring out how to get the tripod in here to uh, be able to use both my hands but um, we can see that um, what it's telling us to do right now is turn the ignition on and press any key to continue um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on here and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the enter button it's doing its thing right now. It's linking to the vehicle. And there we go. It tells us that one code was found. Um, and here we go. Kind of in, we're into the diagnostics menu. So uh, the most important ones we're going to look at are the read codes and the view freeze frame. And if this was like an emissions related fault, uh, the view freeze frame will give us some of the specifics of the fault. Um, but let's go into read codes first. And the difference between stored codes and pending codes, stored codes are codes that have been repeated multiple times and have triggered your check engine light. The pending codes are ones that have been noticed but have not become um, like serious regular issues yet enough to trigger the check engine light so we're going to go into the stored codes first and we're coming back with p0420 um, catal catalyst system efic efficiency below threshold bank one uh, okay, essentially what that means is it can be one of two things. Uh, most likely it's either my oxygen sensor or the or my catalytic converter. Um, you know, so probably what we're going to do for this one is we're going to erase the code. We're going to see if it comes back up again. And if it does come back on again, um, then we're going to start by replacing the oxygen sensor and going from there. Um, let's back up here. Let's see if there's any pending codes. Hit enter here. Um, same thing for the pending codes. Um, so we yeah, have more than likely the oxygen sensor is bad in my vehicle and is going to need replaced. But let's go ahead and back it out here. 
Okay, let's go into the view freeze frame. Uh, so when this air was triggered, um, these are the specific metrics um, that were recorded when that air was triggered. Um, you know, it tells you right on top there the P0420 air, and then it gives you all the metrics um, from all the different sensors. And you could look these up to see um, if they help indicate a specific um, a specific issue or not. I think for this one, I think what it is is just a bad oxygen sensor, so we're going to need to get that replaced. Um, let's go ahead and back out here. We have live data so you can see what's going on in real time. Next, we got the IM readiness, um, inspection and maintenance readiness. That tells you if uh, all your emission systems um, you know, are ready to be tested uh, for emissions if they're functioning properly. Uh, it said in the manual you could also use that after you perform a repair to see um, if the repair was was done properly. And then finally, you have vehicle info here. Let's see what that is. Um, gives you your vehicle ID number, calibration ID, um, you know, some different specifics about your vehicle. Um, probably nothing I'm going to be using. Okay, guys, the last code, the erase code. Uh, we're going to go ahead and erase this code and see if it comes back on. Um, if it does come back on, I'll know that I need to replace my oxygen sensor. Um, but, you know, sometimes these codes come up in air, so let's give it a chance. Let's erase it um, and then see if it comes back on and we will go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the enter button on erase codes. It says erase trouble codes. Are you sure? And we're going to hit enter for yes. And then erase done. Press any key to continue. Um, so now those codes, both the stored and the pending, have been removed from the onboard diagnostic computer. Um, and we'll just see if they come back up over time and then we'll know what to do. Um, let's go ahead and start the car up really quick and make sure that the check engine light is gone. All right, guys, car is started up, check engine light is gone, and now we just need to drive it around for a bit, and we'll just see if that light comes back on, and then uh, we'll go from there, and we'll get the oxygen sensor replaced if we need to. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment, um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.